In today's video, we're looking at the fascinating history of the TV dinner. TV dinners weren't officially created until the 1950s under that name, so before that time, single guys, people that simply can't or hate to cook, and harried parents had to find other ways to rustle up dinner in a hurry. It's hard to imagine surviving in such primitive conditions, but our ancestors were a hardy bunch. Like many products that have enjoyed massive and steady popularity over the years, there are a long line of folks who claim credit for the invention of the TV dinner. The evolution began in 1940 when Max and Food Systems Incorporated produced the first ready-to-eat frozen meal. These dinners were called Stratoplates, which were complete meals to be reheated and served to both civilian and military airline passengers. They consisted of meat, a potato, and a vegetable, served on a plastic plate with three dividers. Unfortunately, because of financial setbacks coupled with the death of the founder of the company, Maxon's meals never made it to the grocer's shelves. Many believe that this product, therefore, doesn't qualify as a true TV dinner as it was only available on airplanes and never available to the public via retail sale. Next up, in the late 1940s, Jack Fisher founded a company called Friggy Dinners that sold its just reheat wares to bars and taverns. This, of course, means it has the same problem as Maxon if you want to be a stickler about the TV part of the equation. Albert and Mayer Bernstein co-founded Frozen Dinners Incorporated in 1949, and that's when things really began to happen. They sold their aluminium dinner trays with three compartments in the Pittsburgh area, and by 1950 had manufactured an impressive 400,000 dinners. Their product continued to grow in popularity, and in 1952, the Bernstein brothers organized the Quaker State Food Corporation, expanding their sales area east. By 1954, their company had sold over 2.5 million frozen dinners, presumably some of which were eaten while people watched TV. Though, at this point, that certainly wasn't the focus. After the Bernstein's dinners began selling like hotcakes, Swanson, already a well-known brand that consumers trusted, got in on the action. The oft-told tale, whether true is up for debate, is that Swanson executive Jerry Thomas put forth the idea of the TV dinner as a way to use the vast surplus of Thanksgiving turkey, one number bandied around is 260 tons that the company was sitting on. Whether that is true or not, the first TV dinner offered by Swanson was a Thanksgiving dinner containing sweet potatoes, turkey with cornbread dressing, and frozen peas. It sold for 98 cents per dinner, which is about $9 today, and took about 25 minutes to reheat in the oven. As to why Swanson so often gets the credit for the first TV dinners, despite the earlier examples of similar frozen food items, that's because they based their advertising campaign around the hottest trend of the year, the television. Some claimed that the inspiration came from the fact that the tray resembled the TVs at the time, though this is a huge stretch when you look at the original three-compartment tray that had a triangle as the main compartment. More likely, the name was simply thought up as part of a clever ad campaign, and the design of the tray had absolutely nothing to do with it. Whatever the case, thanks to Swanson, frozen dinners became TV dinners, and the company sold more than 25 million of them in that year alone, or $24.5 million worth, which which is about a gross of $220 million today. The introduction of microwave ovens presented a huge turning point for the TV dinner, and it rose to the challenge admirably. The former design of metal trays, of course, by necessity, had to become a thing of the past, and microwave meals are now typically packaged in plastic containers with plastic covers, occasionally with a thin layer of aluminium lining to crisp things up like hot pockets, pot pies, and other items that have a crust. So thank you for watching that video on the origin of the TV dinner. If you did like it, do click like below, it really helps us out. And if you did like this video, you're bound to like our other stuff. So there's a big subscribe button on the screen now. Click that and you'll join the Today I Found Out channel. Also, if you like this video, you might enjoy some of our other origin videos. We have one on the origin of the QWERTY keyboard, and we have another one on the origin of toasting drinks, among others, but click on one of those and you'll be able to check that out right now. So again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.